Hello, hello from my car. I just parked in the Mickey parking structure. I'm actually on the Mickey level. Um, it's probably close to one by now. I obviously am wearing a mask as I'm about to go into Disney for a little bit just because COVID cases are going up again and I really, really, really don't want to get sick again, especially just with all of my doctor's appointments that I'm having right now. It's just not good to tempt fate. So mask is back for the time being. It is humid. It's overcast, but it's humid. It's in the 70s. At least it's not terrible, but I'm sure it's still going to be pretty warm out there. So I did bring my neck fan just in case. I'm here to see the Halloween decorations, which I haven't really seen yet. It's been a while since I've been here, to be honest. It'll be nice to see the decorations. I'll maybe get some uh, Halloween goodies to go. And there is a Halloween Pandora charm that I must get. Hopefully it's still in stock. So let's go ahead and see. to be froggy boogie it's like at a total stop there's only like one spot actually open dang yikes all these people are froggy boogie dang I did not go on any rides today. I had a very, very filling late lunch at Craftsman's Grill and I bought several Pandora charms for my Halloween themed bracelet that currently only has two Halloween charms on it. So we'll see how I like the new charms and if I'm going to keep them. I got a couple of Halloween cupcakes to try, which I'm sure they're delicious. And um, I'll be back again on the 17th. So I'll probably do some more stuff and go on more rides on the 17th. Today is so busy because apparently it's like the first official kickoff night of Oogie Boogie Bash. So it's no wonder it was so busy in the parks today. I was thinking 
Maybe it was because of Labor Day being yesterday. Perhaps people took off today <laughs> from work to have an extended weekend. Um, but no, it's because <laughs> I decided to come on the first night of Oogie Boogie. It was nice to see the decor, holiday decor. It was pretty humid, pretty hot, especially since I was wearing long sleeves. But it's nice to see the decor. It's just already busy, 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 and it's gonna be like this pretty much all the way past New Year's. Which, now that I think about it, I didn't even check when I renewed my magic key. Am I still blocked out from Christmas all the way past New Year's? I mean, I pay for the top tier, the top level pass. I'm so thankful for it. Even right now not having a job, I'm very thankful for this blessing and privilege to be able to go to Disney. Like I held on to that. Yes, I could have saved money, but this is something that I need in my life. Um, so it's something that I'm willing to pay for. I love the free parking. I love the discounts. But if we're the top tier and we're paying like two grand a year for the pass, why are we blocked out? It is what it is, I guess, but um, I don't know. I'll show those cupcakes. Hopefully they're not smashed. I had to put them in my backpack uh, when I got on the tram. Hopefully they're not completely smashed so I can get some footage and maybe a picture. I'll see if the charms work for my bracelet or not. I can return it uh, if it's in new condition with the receipt within 30 days, which is nice. It is now 5.13, I should head home. Carl's still working until seven, but I just really need to uh, try to avoid as much traffic as possible on the five. So I'm gonna head home now. spectrum got my mask on again I'm here because I'm still having issues with my glasses these ones I changed um, a few weeks ago so that they were the low bridge fit on my nose but these sadly are still constantly sliding down my nose I constantly have to push them back and like readjust so I just don't think this is the right fit for my particular structure of my face so I'm gonna see if I can find a better pair before my 30 day limit is up to return or trade these in. All right, so I took my mask off. Um, they suggested doing an adjustment first, just to see like if uh, tightening it and like rounding it around my ear uh, instead of having it be super flat would be helpful. And then I said I could like walk around the spectrum and just see how many times if I do have to push it up to readjust it. So we'll see. I mean, hopefully the adjustment worked, but if not, I did see a few pair that could potentially be ones that I um, trade for. So I'm back in my car, as you can obviously tell uh, from my glasses. I didn't end up purchasing a new pair today. I feel like I might eventually, but um, what the manager was kind enough to do uh, free of charge was to do a few adjustments. So the first time that I went in, uh, he adjusted the arms so that they curved around my ear uh, in hopefully the correct place. Uh, and then I did some walking around and did some shopping just to see how they were. But I still felt like I was pushing them up as I looked down at things or even just walking. So I, I even took off my hat. I was trying to not have anything touch my glasses to see if they were better, but I still felt like they weren't. So I went back in and the last thing that he did was tighten the screws. I honestly don't feel that much of a difference, but he said that 
if they don't work, I could still go in um, before the 30 days or even on the 30 day uh, window expiration date and they would do what they could to get me the right glasses. So I took a few pictures. I had tried on a few different pair and took a picture of the style and the name so that if I do come back and change them, I'll remember what they were. When I was out shopping, I stopped at Barnes and Noble and I picked up the new Olivia Rodrigo Guts CD since that was sold out at my local Target. And I also got my mom a birthday gift. I'm pretty sure this video will not be out before her birthday, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. I got her this book on birds since she has an affinity for birds. It's called The Bedside Book of Birds and it's not necessarily a novel. It's got like a collection of different pieces from different authors, poems, short stories, that sort of thing, and different myths about birds. So hopefully she'll like that. It's already 2.40 so I need lunch but I don't want to spend too much money being out and about. So I think I'll head home. I do want to treat myself to a Dunkin's iced coffee since I haven't had one in months, but then I'll head home, have some lunch, and then probably get back to work on the computer since I have lots to do. <laughs> I just grabbed my Dunkin's and I even treated myself a little bit further. Not that I necessarily needed to, but I got some treats along with my coffee. Uh, this one I wanted to show before I put my Java sock on it. It's the Nutty Pumpkin Cold Brew. It says it has three pumpkin SWL, whatever that means, uh, three hazelnut shots and three creams. So this is like the perfect color iced coffee in my opinion. <laughs> I do not do like plain coffee. It has to be sweet, it has to be creamy, otherwise I don't want it. I don't really gravitate or like pumpkin spiced things. Like I don't like pumpkin pie. Like I've, I've tried some things before uh, and it's just way too artificial and just weird. Like I'm almost drinking a candle or eating a candle. So it has to be just right. So I thought because it has like the nutty in front of the pumpkin, maybe the hazelnut um, aspect to the drink will blend it out. It would be cool if they did like a pumpkin peanut butter cold brew, something like that. I feel like that would be more my vibe. But let me put on my Java sock. This one, it's the medium size for Duncan. So I brought both of my Java socks just in case because I didn't know what size would fit. So this is my Java sock. I love it and the print is fine china which um, I don't know if they have it in stock anymore I just know that when I saw the bigger size uh, this was my original one the smaller size when they had the bigger one in stock I pounced on it because I love this print so much the next size up would be the largest for like train tas and a large size for Duncan um, but that one was out of stock when I purchased this one so I have to wait so I'm gonna put this in so that my fingers do not freeze and look at that little cute moment. Love it. So I'm gonna try this. I got some of the munchkins, like the little donut holes. I got a variety of those. So I grabbed like a couple of pumpkin spiced ones, like a chocolate one, a regular, and then I think a powdered one. So I just got a group of them. And I also got the pumpkin spice donut just to see if my taste has changed and maybe their donut is nice. So let's give the, the cold brew a try, the iced coffee. I think this is a nice coffee. I keep calling it a cold brew, but I'm pretty sure it's just a regular iced coffee. I don't know, we'll see. What, what is the difference between cold brew and iced coffee? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a connoisseur of coffee. I just like it every now and then, so let's see. It's not bad. I don't really taste bitterness, which is aces in my book. It's definitely sweet. I feel like there was a little hint of something kind of on the spicy side, but towards the end. Let me try again. Yeah, I feel like I mostly just detect the cream and maybe the hazelnut, which is probably good because I'm not that much of a pumpkin lover. And normally for me, like for holiday season drinks, my go-to is peppermint mocha, whether it's ice or hot. I like pepperminty and chocolatey things. 
but this one I can definitely get behind. So this was the Nutty Pumpkin Iced Coffee. I don't know if uh, they're not going to have it again next year. I feel like their drinks are seasonal. I regret not picking up on the Duncan game um, until I moved down to Southern California again, but um, I wished I could have tried their cookie butter iced coffee since I tried to make one at home myself and I did not do a good job. So I think that was a Christmas holiday drink. Um, maybe they'll bring it back this year and then I could try it since there's a Duncan like 10 minutes away from my parents' house. So now that I have my goodies, I think it's time to go home. It's already after three o'clock and I need lunch and to do more productive things. And I'm probably also starting the final book in the, um, the Summer I Turn Pretty series. I know I'm late in the game on it, but I watched the show on Amazon both seasons and got really into it. Jenny Han does a really good job with like the young adult romance and like love triangle um, spiel, so I enjoyed it and wanted to read the book and see how it compares. Uh, there's definitely differences. I'm not going to give away anything for anybody, but there's differences for sure. Artistic freedom, that sort of thing, but I like that Jenny Han is still a part of the production and script since she wrote the books. I'll probably start the final book. I think is it's called We'll Always Have Summer. So I'm on that last one now. They go pretty quick. It's just I have to sit down and be in a quiet environment to read. And I even sometimes like reading with audiobooks because my eyes can get tired. So it's nice to just be able to give my eyes a little bit of rest and still follow along and read. Time to go home. And I'm gonna enjoy this iced coffee. Okay, so I'm back home now and further thoughts on the coffee. It's good, but I don't think it would be like something I'm racing back to Dunkin' Donuts to get. There's like an interesting aftertaste for me and it's partly bitter coffee, but it's partly bitter. And then I think it's also maybe the pumpkin spice, which again, I don't necessarily like pumpkin. I don't know, it's, it's decent. I have to take small sips. It's not something that I can just drink very quickly. I'm glad I tried it, but I'm really intrigued with the um, hazelnut shot. By shot, I'm curious if that means like a pump, like a syrup. I wonder if it's worth investing in the hazelnut syrup and trying it with my Breville espresso maker at home. So then I don't have to have the pumpkin in it and I can see if I still like it. But if I were to rate this like out of five, it would be like a three and a half. So it at least gets a passing score, but it's not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it again. Versus the peanut butter cold brew from Gideon's in Disney Springs, that's like a six out of five. It was amazing. So yeah, that's what I thought about the drink for the snacks. I'm not going to eat them all. Carl's gonna share it with me, but I wanted to show what it looks like. So here is the pumpkin donut. I like that it's like an old fashioned, almost close to an old fashioned donut. I can definitely smell cinnamon, but I don't necessarily smell pumpkin. So I feel like maybe this is something that I'll like, but I'm still full from lunch. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat that right now. That will probably be dessert for after dinner. And the VMAs are tonight. I totally spaced on that when I was out and about, but VMAs tonight, Taylor Swift is nominated for multiple things from midnight. So fingers crossed for her. So for the munchkins, I got two of the little pumpkin spice munchkins. So it's probably the same exact recipe for the bigger donut, but it's just the donut holes. It's probably what got taken from the middle of the donut. So I got two of those. I got one just regular glazed munchkin. Not quite so round, but that's okay. I got one chocolate and it was touching the powdered munchkin. So that's what's on that one. And then last but not least, like I just mentioned, I got the powdered munchkin. Those will be nice to have the next few days 
And of course I have sticky stuff all over my fingers and on my desk.